I have an American Standard Freedom 80 Comfort R and this is uh, made by Train. So if you have a Train furnace, it's very similar. So this furnace is from 2006 and now it's January of 2021. So if you subscribe to my channel, I have a few other videos how I repaired this furnace. And the problem I have today is the blower fan is not working. And uh, it has happened before, and you will see another video where I have uh, switched out the blower fan with a used motor, and those are the ECM motors. And what I'm going to do is, I think I know the issue, and I will try to uh, fix that. On this uh, motor housing, you will see that the top one, you see this area, is the ECM control board, or the control um and i'm going to remove just the just these two bolts and i'm not going to remove any of the housing here or you don't need to remove from the squirrel cage just this top cover which is the control module and this one takes a uh, one by four inch socket and that's the one that is uh, going to open these these bolts so while removing this just make sure that you look at the orientation this is the facing uh, to the front where we removed the two cables or the connectors and this is how the squirrel cage goes so this is the front of the machine and so when you put the housing back on you should make sure that this is pointed towards the front and I'm going to remove these two bolts. These are two long bolts. And I'm going to lift this up. And I'll show you what might be the issue. So usually this is very well known. Once I take this, this uh, control board out, you will see this is the part that needs to be replaced. And this goes bad and this burns out. It's called a thermistor or thermal resistor. So this part is the one which usually burns out. And it, this part actually costs probably less than $2. But not everyone, even if you go and call an HVAC technician, they will replace the whole motor. And this motor costs you over $800. Maybe, you know, with the replacement cost, and they will probably charge you $1,200 to replace it. But if you are okay with a little bit of soldering and I'll show you how to do that. This is the part that goes bad. So then the next is I'm going to disconnect this wiring. You see that the wiring that connects to the motor. So this is the motor and this is the controller. And this wiring is the harness is right there. So you can press on it and there is a clip on my right side and it will come out. So this is the wiring harness and you can see this is the clip that holds it. So one sign that your part is burned is if you if you smell this you will have some burning smell and that's what you actually smell uh, when it was you know about to die and you will have some burning smell in the air that is discharged. In my case my wife called me and said she has she smells something burning and I went upstairs and I did smell it and uh, when I came downstairs I saw that the fan the blower fan was not running so I had to stop the furnace so if you smell something which is burning it probably is your motor and uh, this part so to remove the uh, I have to take out this control board so that I can flip it upside down and so there are um, a couple of uh, bolts over here so this one bolt and uh, that one bolt should take it out there might be another one here so there are two bolts just keep track of the bolts uh, or the screws that you are taking out so after removing the two screws and uh, those screws were one here and one right there you can see that there is a little bit of a clip that needs to be 
I'm using a needle nose plier to just release that clip and that will get my uh, board out. So here I have the new part and I will put the part number and uh, you can see I bought it from uh, Mauser Electronics and at that time I had replaced it once on the previous motor and uh, the last time I had to replace the whole motor uh, because one of the connectors went bad. I'm going to melt this solder to remove the current. current. Be careful because if you pull it, it I'm going to use a needle nose plier to pull from the other side because it gets hot, that wire will get hot. So I'm going to put the, the new one and pass it through the holes, you can see. I will solder it back on here and then I will trim the um, the ends. I'm going to use a little bit solder and just join this end. So here goes the new part and um, you can see the solder over there so um, write these two and it is I'm going to put this back in just make sure that these wires are are being routed through those holes in there and I will put this back together so before I put this uh, motor back on, what I do is I test it to make sure that the fix I did is going to work. So I have connected the terminals and you can see it's still sitting outside. And I have put the thermostat to have the fan turned on or circulate, whichever setting works for you. And I'm going to turn the power on and the circuit board will and looks like the fan is running you can see so the fix works and i'm going to clean it up a little bit it's been uh, pretty dirty because we had a flood a year and a half before and you will see some uh, videos i have changed quite a few including the gas valve on this furnace and clean up uh, the uh, pressure switches or in this case there is no pressure switch here and uh, also how I, I changed the circuit board so hope this helps uh, 